I'm Alistair Hay and uh, I'm the owner, the founder and the main designer here at Emerald Guitars. And what I wanted to do today is take you on a tour through our quite extensive range of guitars. So we build guitars from carbon fiber and uh, over the years we've been able to develop a really wide and quite eclectic range of guitars. And uh, a lot of the reasons for the different designs is because of the, the different um, things that carbon fiber has allowed us to do. That's a little bit different than the regular uh, limitations of some other guitar companies. So what you're going to see here is a range of guitars that is a little bit different than the standard that you might see, but uh, there's really something here for everybody. So, uh, so if you wanted to find out what all the different guitars are in our range, see which one maybe is right for you, see all the differences, then this is the right video for you. So, uh, so we're going to go through our six string range. We've got uh, right starting from our little small parlor guitar, going up in size between the X10s, 20s, to our big Jumbo X30. We've got a beautiful arch top guitar here. Uh, down here, we've got our nylon selection, three beautiful nylon string guitars. 12 strings, we really excel in a 12 string world and carbon is so, so good for 12 strings. So we have right from, uh, from our double neck guitar, Jumbo 12 string, right down to a small body parlor size 12 string, and then the little beautiful Amicus, which uh, we'll tell you all about when we get there. Over here, we've got acoustic basses. Uh, we've got three lined up here and there's actually four in the range because there's a fretless four string as well that I don't have right here. Then we've got the harp guitars. Harp guitars are something really unique and wonderful that you may not have seen before, but we'll tell you a little bit about the harp guitar range and, uh, and harp ukulele in there too. And then we've got the Solace. This is our uh, lap steel guitar and it's something just really, really special. So we've got a lot of guitars to talk about, um, but this is the video for you if you wanna find out more about our range and, uh, and we're just gonna jump in, talk about each one. So, um, so the first thing you're gonna see is uh, we do a lot of different sizes. So uh, it's a, to cater for, for different playing needs, uh, we've got different sizes of guitars. So the smallest guitar is our X7. Uh, it's about a parlor size guitar. This guitar is fantastic if you're uh, if you're just wanting a nice compact guitar, maybe playing at home, or if you're liking to go out and gig and, uh, and have a smaller body guitar, it's great for that. And a lot of people use these for travel. Um, so if you're looking for a guitar that you can take anywhere, um, it comes in a really nice compact gig bag. You can take it, you know, skiing, you can take it in your boat. Uh, it's fantastic for that. So, uh, so this is one, we've pulled all these guitars from our current stock, and uh, this one is finished with a quilted maple veneer on here, uh, finished in red, and uh, a vibrant red back and sides. So you're gonna see all the different types of finishes and we'll talk about them as we go through as well. Um, so, uh, so from our X7, next one up is our X10. So we've got three in the X10 range, and um, this is our X10 slimline. Uh, so the X10 slimline in body size is just a little bit bigger than the X10, but slimline means it's half the thickness. So uh, this is a, aimed as a stage acoustic guitar. Uh, it comes with a beautiful range of pickups. This one has a Crevo humbucker here and six Graftec piezos. But, uh, but that slim body size, if you, you know, maybe coming from that electric guitar world, want an acoustic that feels like an electric, this is the, the guitar for you. Um, so uh, this one's finished in candy stripe paduk and vibrant red back and sides again. So from the slim body X10, we go to the full body X10. So, uh, so this one, as you can see, uh, full size width, and we'll just compare the two side by side. You can see um, twice the width, and uh, not quite twice the, the tone, because the X10 Slimline has a, a really big sound for a small body guitar, but, uh, but definitely this has a bigger um, sound if you're really more aimed towards acoustic projection. So uh, the X10 again comes with that slimmer neck profile. It's got uh, that really nice extended neck access that we have on all our range. So you can access right the way up into the top frets, which is really fantastic on an acoustic guitar. This one's finished in beautiful black quilted maple and the natural carbon fiber in the back and sides. Now, pickup system on this one's really trick because uh, you've got the Graftec piezos, you've got the Crevo humbucker, and we use these piezos here to trigger MIDI signal as well. So we've got a MIDI output, 13 pin MIDI, and uh, you can connect that to something like a Roland um, system for, uh, for all kinds of MIDI sounds. Blend them all together here and you can really create something very special. 
So kind of sitting inside the X10 range is the Virtuo. So it's using the same body style as the X10 slimline. So you can see that nice slim body. But this one, whereas that's more of an acoustic guitar, this is more of an electric guitar. So this has been given uh, Fishman Fluence humbuckers here. Same graph pick, graph tech piezos. It's got that MIDI connectivity. And, uh, and really it allows you just to have such a great blend between acoustic and electric pickups. This is the guitar that we say has the acoustic body and the electric soul. And um, it's, uh, it's really quite something. It's got just such a great blend of sounds and, uh, and quite stunning to look at, as you can see here with that candy stripe Paduk veneer on top. So we go from the X10 range up into the X20. Now the X20 is sort of the center point for our guitar range. And, uh, and really it's um, a really fantastic sounding guitar. It's around about a dreadnought size, but with the, all of our guitars, ergonomics is really a big factor. So, uh, so you can see the contour back. We have the asymmetrical side, which we have across most of our guitars. The little rib, rib bevel here, uh, the forearm bevel, this little bevel here that gives you access up to the higher frets and then our offset sound hole. So all those details together just make this a very comfortable, very ergonomic guitar. And, uh, and while it's about the size of a dreadnought, it actually feels much smaller. So it's a guitar that you're just gonna love the feel off when you're playing and you're also gonna love the sound. The sound of this, the way it projects with the offset sound hole, it just puts that sound right up towards you. You really get to to hear and get that immersive experience as if you're inside the guitar. Um, so a really great sounding guitar, a lot of punch and power in this. Got a great balance between the basses and trebles and, uh, and yeah, just really excels in, in a lot of different playing styles. This one's finished with a, a Royal Ebony veneer, uh, which is really quite exceptional. Uh, beautiful inlays in the fretboards, these Celtic knots and uh, a natural, that uh, natural black carbon fiber there in the back and sides. Now, on the X20 range, we offer that in various different configurations. So it is the one guitar in our range, in our six string range, that we offer in left handed. Uh, unfortunately, because of our molding uh, processes, it's hard to have a mold for a left handed version of everything. So, uh, so there's only a small number that we have, really the, X, the, left, uh, the X20 and the Amicus is the only two things we have in left handed. But, uh, but this is the left-handed X20, same specifications as this, just an exact mirror of it. So, uh, so that also gives us the opportunity to build um, a left-handed 12 string as well, which you're gonna see right down here. Uh, we'll see that when we come. So the other thing we have in the X20 range is a baritone. So the baritone is a 27 inch scale, tuned B to B, got those heavier strings and just gives you that deeper lower tuning. So uh, same body dimensions, just that longer scale. And this is green, um, green Harborica, really beautiful. Then another one, which is one of my favorites in the range is, uh, is our fan fret X27 string. So it's the one guitar that we do as standard as a fan fret. Uh, it's a seven string and it's tuned B to E. So it's got that extra low B string here. And uh, with the fan fret, we've got a scale length of 27 inches on the bass side, 25 and a half on the treble. And, uh, and that extra scale length here just gives us just a lot more power and definition. So uh, again, it's got that same body contours, fan frets, and this one's finished in a redwood burl. So, from the X20 model, we go up to the X30. So the X30 is our big jumbo, and uh, we wanted to design a guitar that had a really big sound, all about the bass, all about the bottom end. And to achieve that, we really had to build quite a large body guitar. And uh, again, using the ergonomics that carbon fiber allows us to create, uh, we were able to build something that, uh, that had a lot of contours and, uh, and really makes it feel a lot smaller than it actually is. You know, this is a big guitar, but doesn't feel big because of that off the asymmetrical side, the rib bevel here, the very big forearm bevel here, and, uh, and again here. So all those little details just really give this a huge sound and, uh, and make it a very playable jumbo guitar. And uh, this one's finished in Paul Ferro veneer. So I should maybe say at this point, just 
all the different veneers and, uh, and different finishes. There's a section on our website called the 3D Builder. And if you go in there, you're gonna see a portal where you can design any of these guitars. Now these guitars have been selected from our stock. So we do have a stock section with about 300 guitars that you can choose from. If you just want an instant gratification, have it shipped to you right now. But if you wanna design one of our guitars, then you can go into the 3D Builder, choose all those different veneers, different carbon styles, and uh, it's a great way really to see any of these range and see all the different ergonomics and details because you get to move that guitar around, uh, play with it, design it in whatever way you like. So every guitar you see here, you can design on the 3D Builder and tweak all the little designs as you choose. Now, from the jumbo guitar, we go to an arch top guitar. Kestrel is something that I, I built just because I love the, the look of a, an arch top guitar. So I designed this a few years back and um, really is a thing of beauty. So the key attributes we wanna look at here is uh, it's a, again, looking very much at um, a modern version of an arch top guitar. So if we look at the back and sides, we can see that we use the same details to give us really nice ergonomics, that asymmetrical side, this really nice rib bevel here, looks great, but really functions great. It's got the arm bevel and uh, and just overall, it's a very comfortable car guitar to hold. It's an acoustic arch top primarily. Uh, it does have pickups in here. So we've got Graftec piezos built into the bridge here. Uh, we've got a Crevo humbucker, which uh, really complements that sound really, really well. And you can blend between them. Uh, another really nice feature we have is uh, this floating teal piece. It's um, carved out of a solid billet of carbon fiber. It almost looks like it's just floating on there. It uh, connects in a very trick way just at the back and uh, it's, it's really a thing of beauty. So overall, this is just a, a beautiful guitar. Shirtler tuners on here, uh, which function and uh, operate really beautifully. And uh, this one's finished in vibrant blue. That's a beauty. Now, every guitar here, we've only shown one of each type, but the Castro's so beautiful, I decided to show you two. So here's another one. And uh, this one is finished in, uh, in Royal Ebony with a transparent blue over the top. Beautiful Celtic knots here. And uh, this has got a, a dark blue back and sides. So if you're into arch top guitars, you'll just know about the, the blue collection. And uh, this is kind of my, uh, I guess my little version of a blue collection of arch top guitars. Now, where do we go next? So let's go from arch tops, maybe we'll go to nylon guitars. Um, our nylon guitar, now while it looks the same, is actually made in quite a different way. Um, from time to time we're asked just, you know, what makes the differences in this? And uh, it's a different construction on the top. It's made much lighter to be able to handle the nylon strings. Uh, we add the slotted headstock here, which uh, kind of like the, the floating tailpiece on the Kestrel it's carved from a solid billet of carbon. And uh, you see this beautiful layering effect on the headstock and uh, it really is a thing of beauty. Um, got a lot of detail in it, a lot of hand work goes into finishing these, but it's worth every minute. Um, we also have a slightly wider neck. Now this is a, it's a nice sort of hybrid neck, so it's not quite as wide as, uh, as a regular classical guitar. Um, but it uh, gives you a nice balance in between. So it's a very playable um, nylon neck, even has a radius on it too. And, uh, and this has a really nice balanced sound, a lot of bottom end and a lot of power and projection. So carbon just works really nice on a nylon guitar and, uh, and that's our version of it, finished in black carbon. So also in our nylon string range, then we have a slimline. Now this is a really fantastic instrument. So this is, uh, again, like our X10 slimline, and uh, this has uh, been slimmed down to half that width. And while it's a really thin nylon guitar, it has a lot of power and projection. Really excels plugged in. Uh, we offer it in various different pickup configurations. You can also get it with MIDI connectivity, and, uh, and really actually works really well as a MIDI guitar. So uh, if you're looking for a stage nylon guitar, this is a really good choice. Then we also have an X7 nylon. So the X7 can be purchased as a nylon string, shorter scale length, it's got that 24 inch scale. 
and uh, and just gives you that uh, nice compact proportions on a nylon guitar. Uh, the smaller body gives it nice punchy sound and uh, it's very easy to play, uh, very comfortable to live with with those proportions. So as I said earlier, 12 string guitars are something we really excel at and the reason for that is carbon fiber is just so strong and durable. Um, really the, the attributes for it are absolutely perfect for building a 12 string guitar. So with a 12 string guitar you want strength, you want structural integrity, you want stability of tuning and carbon fiber gives you all those things. So uh, it's been a big success for us over the years and we've expanded the range over the years as well. And uh, to, to we have a stage now where we have this collection and um, I don't know how we've managed to end up with so many different guitars in our line, but we just see so many opportunities and it's just, it's wonderful to bring something new to life. So the Chimera, we've been building these for about 10 years now. This is our double neck guitar. And this is the ultimate expression of, uh, of string tension and strength and durability. So it really displays what everything, everything that's good about carbon fiber. So, uh, so this is a 12 string guitar on top, six string in the bottom and um, it's got uh, Graftech piezos here, it's got a cane K pickup onto the saddle on the 12 string side. You get to blend them all together here between the two necks, three-way switch. So, uh, so something really cool, uh, great stage presence, looks amazing, really playable and sounds great. So if you just like to play a 12 string guitar, you also get the sympathetic resonance of the six string coming along with the 12. So, uh, so you don't have to play them all together, one at a time and you just get an even bigger sound. And again, also when you're playing the six string, that 12 string just like resonates along with it. And um, it just gives us really full, beautiful, beautiful sound. So a uh, beautiful guitar to look at, but uh, very much a guitar to be played. So we're gonna start from our biggest 12 string guitars and move down to the smallest. So our biggest in the range is the X30. And uh, this is a jumbo 12 string guitar. Uh, quite an uncommon thing to, to find a jumbo 12 string but it works so well. So you've got that big body that gives you uh, the strong bassy sound. So a lot of bass coming off these, uh, these lower bass strings here. But because we've got the octaves, the octaves then bring in all those trebles and highs. So you get this powerful like orchestra of sound and, uh, and really it sounds huge. Um, you get a great balance from bass right into treble. So it's not just bass dominant. Uh, everything does balance out really well and it just gives you a huge sound. So the X30 uh, 12 string has been very popular over the last couple of years. And uh, this one finished in uh, vibrant blue is something really quite spectacular. So from the X30, we're going down into the X20 12 string. And uh, this one finished in a wonderful purple, purple quilt of maple and purple vibrant back and sides. Um, so again, like we talked about in the X20, this is like a dreadnought size, so the middle of the range and uh, traditionally has been our, our best selling 12 string guitar. Um, great balance, great power and projection, uh, very playable and uh, you know, if you've had 12 string guitars that you've hated to have and live with before, coming to a carbon fiber 12 string is going to just change your mindset on what a 12 string is all about. You won't spend your entire life tuning it, you're going to spend all your time playing it and, uh, and that's a big benefit on a carbon 12 string. So the X20 12 string we also do in left handed. So, uh, so here we have an example of our left handed X20 12 string. So, uh, so it's great because we have a mold for the, the X20 that we get to bring a lefty X20 uh, into, into, into life as well. Um, now we also have the X7. Uh, 12 string guitar, so that's our small body parlor guitar and uh, it's a 24 inch scale on a 12 string so it's a little bit less tension, a little bit shorter scale and spacing between the frets so just you know for playability wise if you like the smaller proportions then this could be a really nice choice. Uh, it gives you that little bit of a softer 12 string but with a nice sort of mid-range punch as well. Uh, this one's finished in the vibrant amber back and sides and that beautiful vibrant or, or beautiful quilted maple uh, vintage amber top. So then we also have a slim body. Um, this is a kind of a custom, but uh, it's something we can build as well on request. Um, so this is an X10 slimline 12 string. And uh, so again, like we showed you before, it's got those uh, slim body uh, proportions. So uh, if you want a, a nice 
uh, stage 12 string guitar want the smaller proportions then uh, then this is something we can build as well now the amicus the amicus is really something quite special in our range uh, this is a, a 12 string but unlike the others that are using octave strings this is unisons so uh, so it's got uh, six pairs and uh, it's a an 18 inch scale and it's tuned to D so uh, it's like putting a cable on the 10th fret of your guitar and it brings you up into those higher registers uh, we've got a special set of string gauges on here that give you that tuning and uh, it kind of gives you that mandolin type of sound but um, but really it's a, it's like a mandolin that really suits a guitar player so uh, it's got a, a really fantastic voice all to its own and um, it can bring a whole new dimension to your to your guitar playing this one's finished in blue quilted maple i absolutely love that and um, blue carbon back and sides then we've also got that in a lefty now this is the one guitar you're going to see the left-handed version is a little bit different than the right-handed version and uh, we were designing this one and we decided we would bring in some of the new features so this uh, left-handed amicus similar kind of proportions slightly different cutaway here got the different sound hole which matches kind of to what we have on the x20 uh, but uh, but that's same kind of configuration and uh, and really sounds amazing so we, we cater quite well for left-handed from the amicus the 12 string to the 6 string so uh, so whatever you're looking for um, in a left-handed hopefully we have something that might uh, might suit you now do we go to bass or do we go to harp guitars let's go to bass first and then we'll see if the harp guitars for last so acoustic bass is something that i really like and um, we've been doing acoustic basses i think it's probably 20 years since we built the first one and uh, we built we designed the baller a number of years ago as a redesign of our acoustic bass line and we wanted to do something that was just had exceptional power and presence and tone so this instrument is all about creating um, a lot of acoustic volume and, uh, and a beautiful acoustic tone. Uh, the only way to do that on, a, on an acoustic bass really is to have a body that's big enough. Um, obviously you've got the longer scale, but uh, you need a large body to really get that tone right. So if you look at the back and sides, like the other guitars we looked at, we've got uh, this very um, generous asymmetrical side design here. Really helps when you're playing seated. It's got that really large rib bevel here. Uh, it's got the big cutaway here to give you access up into the higher frets. It's got the arm bevel and, uh, and overall just proportions and ergonomics that make this uh, very large guitar feel very, very manageable. But it's that large uh, body that really gives it the big, large sound. And uh, there's no use in having an acoustic bass that sounds thin, and this definitely doesn't. Uh, big, full, beefy sound. And we offer the, the Balor in, five, in four different configurations. We've got the five string, we've got the four string, and we've got them both in fretless and fretted. So, uh, so really, no matter what kind of a bass player you are, we should have something that suits you. Um, this one's finished in a beautiful quilted maple in a vintage amber. Those beautiful inlays up the fretboard. And uh, all around just a beautiful instrument. So, uh, so that's a five string, also with the five string fretless. And uh, this, is, uh, this is a um, zircotti veneer on the top of this. Uh, really looks wonderful, beautiful coloration. Got uh, this wonderful fretless fretboard, which um, is a polyester over, um, over carbon fiber on the fretboard. And it uh, just gives you a really nice playing surface for, for playing flat, fretless. And then we've got the four string. So uh, if you prefer four strings, uh, then we also got that as well. Uh, same proportions, just with four strings. And this one's finished in green carbon. So that's the, the base range. And really, as you can see, we're kind of putting together a full orchestra here, uh, you know, between the six strings and the 12 strings and the bass. Uh, really, we've got a full band covered. But if you want to play a full band kind of all by yourself, then maybe a harp guitar is what you want. So the harp guitar really is something quite special in our range. And uh, really it's a, a great expression of what carbon fiber can do because it's an instrument that has a lot of tension on the top 
and needs to be made with a lot of ergonomics to make it really playable. So it's something that's really quite hard to do with wood, but with carbon fiber, it just really excels. So we've loved having this in a range and while it's a, quite a niche instrument, it's a, for us a very important part of our range of guitars. So the harp guitar, it's got uh, six guitar strings here and it's got um, six extra sub bass strings here. So these extra bass notes, you can play over the top of your guitar string. So they're not fretted notes. You just play each note on each string. And um, so you can really build this together, uh, kind of create like the drone notes over the top and play your accompaniment. And it, it just really sounds so full and, uh, and really quite amazing. So this is the Synergy X20. Uh, this is the largest in our harp guitar range. Uh, as you can see, it's got a real big full body, but uh, with all those ergonomic details in the back and side to make it very playable. So, uh, so we've got the Synergy X20, 25 and a half inch scale, uh, full body. It's almost a jumbo size instrument, really. Um, and then we move down to the Synergy X7. Uh, Synergy X7 is uh, kind of our parlor size harp guitar. So it's a 24 inch scale length, um, small compact body, and uh, around about the same size as our X7 parlor guitar on the six string. So again, same thing, six guitar strings on the neck, six bass strings here uh, on the on the extra floating bass strings and uh, and it just really has that big full sound so if you're looking for a more compact travel harp guitar then this is a great option we offer a various different pickup systems on these as well uh, but on this one here it's got uh, the graph tech piezos right away across and uh, and they just give real nice uh, distinction of notes from one side to the other and, uh, and that's really something that's quite important on a harp guitar to get really good balance and projection. So then from the Synergy X7, we go down to the little baby of our range, and that is the Synergy Ukulele. So this is a, a tenor ukulele. Again, it's the same concept with the extra bass strings here. Uh, so you've got four bass strings and uh, a regular tenor ukulele neck. So a uh, really fantastic ukulele instrument. And, uh, and just gives you that beautiful sound. So, uh, so yeah, uh, we don't have a standard ukulele in our range. We just have the harp ukulele, uh, but I love that. I think there's something special about that. So last one in our range, we've got the Solace. So the Solace is uh, the, last, the, the most recent instrument that we added to our range. And uh, this is a Weisenborn style lap steel guitar. And, uh, and really it's a, it's a fantastic instrument on our range because it just gives us a really different sound. Uh, it gives us that beautiful lap steel sound and uh, played with a slide and it fits really a lot nice along with our six string instruments as an accompaniment. Um, this one's finished in, uh, in red royal ebony, vibrant red back and sides. And uh, it's something to, beautiful to look at and beautiful to play. So hopefully that's been useful. Um, that's a quite a, a large range and it's, uh, I think this is the first time we've pulled all our guitars together in a range like this, just to give you a little bit of a, an insight into all the different collection that we have. So, um, so hopefully that just lets you see a little bit of the comparison of all the different options. As I say, if you wanna see more, please go to our website, emeraldguitars.com. You can find all the guitars available in our stock section. These guitars are all currently from our stock, so you might be able to find these exact models. But if you want to find uh, a lot more detail and design a guitar yourself, go into the 3D Builder. You can select any of these models from the drop down. You can select all the different veneer types, all the different carbon fiber finishes, all the different pickup components, and that's going to give you a really, really deep insight into the whole range of Emerald guitars. It's a fun space to play in, but also allows you to build your dream guitar. So thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon.